one. Together, we'll do good things, and not just around the holidays. Around the holidays, everyone is feeling kind, and in December, soup kitchens receive so many volunteers that they frequently have to turn people away. You and your sweetie will have a significant impact if you avoid the Christmas Day treats and volunteer year-round instead. These organizations need volunteers severely at other times of the year. Do your nice deeds on the 25th of every month if you love Christmas. The present that keeps on giving is this one. 2. We'll eat mindfully, too. Couples often find it convenient to curl up on the couch, eat Chinese food, and watch Netflix. This behavior not only contributes to weight gain, but it also misses out on the enjoyment and connection that may be had while making and sharing meals. Make your date nights special by cooking and dining together while using healthy dishes. Better than a pricey eatery every time. 3. Together, we'll work up a sweat. Enlist your partner as a workout companion if you and your partner are a tubby duo and are serious about losing weight. Exercise with your partner is still a terrific strategy to enhance your general health even if you are not overweight. And everyone is aware that the exercise's rosy cheeks and labored breathing make us think of other things that also include rosy cheeks and labored breathing. In relation to that. 4. We'll prioritize having sex. Sex sometimes gets overlooked while we're busy, but it's too important for your relationship, your health, and your mood to skip. Make time for a weekend staycation to reconnect with your lover in bed. Spend some time working out how to make the sex exciting again if it has grown stale. Try a different role, a new toy, or perhaps a different setting altogether, kitchen, anyone? 5. We shall no longer argue over insignificant issues. It's crucial to address major disagreements with your partner, but you should strive to steer clear of insults and small-minded arguments. One minor disagreement is not a huge issue, but continual small-minded remarks can undermine the foundation of your relationship. Pick your fights. When you anticipate a fight, make an effort to temporarily calm down and consider whether the disturbance of the quiet is worthwhile. 6. We'll work to be emotionally honest. Even the most direct among us have at one point or another avoided revealing sentiments to a lover. Sharing difficult feelings with your spouse is necessary so that he can react appropriately, especially if you're dealing with a tricky, irrational emotion like jealously. You and your partner can keep the conversation focused on resolving the uncomfortable emotions without getting into a blame game by using the phrase I feel rather than you made me feel. 7. We'll quit using technology to multitask. During your time with your sweetheart, turn off the buzzes, bleeps, and chirps on your phone and computer. Avoid checking your texts while talking to your partner or messaging a buddy when you should be making dinner. Even though you may believe you can multitask, doing so tells your partner they are not worthy of your whole attention. Set up a block of time to do the activities on your phone or computer if you and your partner need to use them, and then carry on with the rest of the evening without considering your time spent using technology as a date. 8. We'll treat one another with the same respect that we do our friends. It's simple to take your significant other for granted, and occasionally we don't treat our mates with the respect they deserve. We assume that they will be there for us in the long run, just like our family, and when we are under stress, our love relationships suffer more. If you find that you speak or behave in ways toward your partner that you wouldn't toward your best friend, change your behavior. Additionally, keep in mind that changing a habit takes time, so persist if you don't see results right away. 9. We'll pay attention. Avoid instinctively nodding while they speak. Do not wait until it is your chance to talk. While they are telling you about their day, avoid doing the dishes. Take a seat, look each other in the eye, listen carefully, and ask follow-up questions. The best thing you can do for your relationship is this. It takes time and work to develop the ability of active listening, but it is crucial. Do your best. 10. 
we'll be less critical of one another than we are of one another. Spending a lot of time with someone makes it simple to forget their positive qualities. Recall the reasons you fell for him in the first place rather than obsessing on his bad tendencies. Remind him now. Long-term relationships often lead to couples forgetting to compliment one another. Try to offer three compliments for every unfavorable comment, and don't be surprised if he imitates your behavior. What couple couldn't use more kindness and consideration? Shared appreciation promotes those qualities. 11. Together, we'll kick a harmful habit. Instead of supporting the behavior in your relationship if you and your partner both have bad habits, work together to break them. Make a deal to just smoke a set amount of cigarettes each day rather than nudging one another outside to smoke. Make a two-drink limit and attempt to abide by it if you and your group of friends drink excessively. 12. We'll engage in joint play. The absence of juice boxes, naps, and recess is among the worst aspects of adulthood. Thankfully, your personal life doesn't have to mirror the monotony of the workplace. Give your partnership a playful edge. Throw pillows at each other, use silly voices, and draw mustaches on magazine models. Take a guitar lesson, make ceramics, learn to roll sushi, or do anything else creative together. Getting out of your routine can strengthen your relationship with your partner and keep things interesting between you. Happy New Year and here's to your relationship getting better in the coming year.